Fantasy Playlist of June the 10th, 1995, Nikki French, Total Eclipse of the Heart, remake of the Bonnie Tyler classic, Bonnie Tyler version produced by Jim Steinman back in the summer of 1983. This song was a number one. It was a power, this was just a classic, all the bells and whistles that came with a Jim Steinman production. Some people even thought that some of the songs that Jim Steinman produced was overdone, overproduced, but hey, it worked. One teenager who fell in love with the record was a, was a, was a girl named Nikki French. And 12 years later, she got a chance to record it. Well, 11 years later, she got a chance to record her version of Toy Eclipse of the Heart. It was suggested that she record a dance version. But she thought, wait a minute, no. This song is too strong to do a dance routine on this record. It, it, it's, t it's demeaning. It's demeaning to the original. We can't ruin this Jim Steinman produced record. But she gave it a go, and when she heard the final result, she thought this thing might work. This could work. The original was produced by a guy named Jim Springgate, and uh, but the song came to the came to the attention of two legendary British record producers, Mike Stock and my, and Matt Aiken. Matt Aiken. They produced Venus by Bananarama. They produced or co-produced Rick Ashley's big hits in the late 80s. Oh, man, this was a monster break. They got together with Nicky French, and they redid it. A dance version of Total, Total Eclipse of the Heart. A new dance version. It was put out in England. It was a minor hit in England, but the song kept getting a buzz. It generated a buzz. And some months later, Matt, I believe it was Matt Aiken, who gave Nicky French a call. He said, let's redo the beginning of this record. It was put out in England. It was hit in England. Went to number five in England, number two here in America, Nicky French. Her version of Total Eclipse of the Heart.